This video is brought to you by a walrus. No, it's not. It's sponsored by Walrus Audio. Audio. So ever so often we gear YouTubers talk together. And one topic that we often discuss is what type of effects are you not that keen on demoing? Or what do you think is the most difficult effect to showcase? And many people are mentioning flangers. Flangers? Flangers? Uh, you see, I'm not even sure how you say it. Same goes for me. I often think they sound a bit like too over the top and they are definitely difficult to showcase in a demo. So when Walrus Audio sent me their new polychrome and analog flangers, I sort of wanted to face my prejudice against this effect and take a new look at it. So now I think I understand better why I didn't used to like them versus that I sort of like them now. I'm going to present that with some different cases and reasons to why I think that flangers are actually quite cool. And the first case and reason is of course Killing in the Name by Rage Against Machine. You know what, I'm not actually 100% sure that this is a flanger. I've seen some people say it's a phaser and a flanger. I think it's a flanger and it's adding like a slow sweep to the riff. It's not actually a riff, it's just a D chord and it makes the whole intro part a lot more interesting. It would definitely not be the same without. <laughs> And I also think this is a very good example on how good Tom Morello is to pick the right effect for the right part. He's so good at that. And the next case is Unchained by Van Halen. I think Eddie is using the effect quite similar to Tom Morello. It's not a lot of stuff going on with the effect, but it's a slow movement sort of. Uh, the riff is more complex, but it's for sure adding something to that riff, especially when he's uh, chugging on the lowest string on the guitar. And the next example is interesting because I don't know how many chorus demos that I have done where I have played Message in a Bottle by the Police. Turns out that is not a chorus at all. It's actually a electric mistress flanger from Electro Harmonics. It sounds kind of like a chorus, but it's also a tiny bit different. You can with some uh, flanger pedals get that chorusy effect on this one, for example. And it's basically down to having the right setting on the pedal. <laughs> By the way, did you hear that harmony part on that riff? That one? That's also very important to get that sound 100%. So if you enjoy this type of content, please consider pressing the like button on this video. That really helps me and the channel. Let's say we are able to get to a thousand likes on this video. That, that would be amazing. Amazing. Thank you. And of course, on this list, we need to have Barracuda by Heart. Probably, to me at least, the most important song on this list. That song, that riff, wouldn't be the same if it didn't have Flanger on it. And it wouldn't be the same if it had Phaser or Chorus. It needs to be Flanger on that song, and it sounds so cool. <laughs> to use a flange effect is to have it on drums. You don't put it on like the entire song, but on a intro, like a drum fill. If you do that, you have an instant lo-fi hit and it's a trick that I use at least five times a year, I would say, yeah. 
same goes for bass. Again, you don't use it on the entire song, but to put it on some parts, it's actually pretty cool. And once again, I made this mini song to showcase what I have learned to like about a flanger pedal. And of course, I learned a lot from making that list and stealing tricks from those songs. It turns out that I really like flangers, first and foremost. I like to use it in a more subtle way. Not to have like a crazy full-on flanger, but yeah, again, a bit more subtle. And I definitely like when it leans more towards uh, the chorusy type of sound, but still, it's a tiny bit different. <laughs> thinking can flangers be the new chorus you know choruses used to be really cool in the 80s and 90s then it was totally not cool for a long time and now it is cool again so can flangers be the next cool thing for the lo-fi hipsters i definitely think so here's the full song again please leave a like if you enjoyed the content goodbye <laughs>